Hello and welcome to See Here, a programme for deaf and hard of hearing people in the UK. This week we remember a well-known deaf actor and comedian, a strong member of the deaf community known for his positive contribution. We will be remembering Hal Draper. We will now, at the end of 2012, the deaf community was shocked and saddened to lose one of its most popular figures. Hal Draper was a founding member of the Deaf Comedians Group and an accomplished film and television actor. We took a look back at his life through the eyes of those who loved him and knew him best and we found out he also has many other sides to his remarkable life. He was a fantastic bloke. Caring, good heart and funny of course. He never complained or brought problems on set. He always lifted the atmosphere. A truly unique person. He was a very serious and private person as well. Many only knew one side of him, the mischievous joker. But there was another side to him, and that's what made him who he was. Hal was born Harold Draper in Chorley, Lancashire in 1951. He came from a large hearing family and had six brothers and five sisters. At the age of 10, Hal lost his hearing after a bout of meningitis. He then went to Royal Cross School for the Deaf and Mary Hare Grammar School. It wasn't until he was in his 30s that he became famous in the deaf community for his comic talents. He was a member of the Deaf Comedians Group, who performed in the 1980s and toured extensively with their unique brand of deaf humour. one of our strongest performers. His sense of... his sense of timing was perfect. And that's really very rare in deaf people. Deaf people tell jokes, but it's rare to see someone with that real sense of timing. Well, I'm from the North, so I'm a comedy man. That's me. I've always loved getting up and grabbing everyone's attention by telling jokes at deaf club or anywhere. Wherever I go, I love to make people laugh. There's this deaf guy waiting at the bus stop when a hearing guy comes along and says something to him. The deaf guy suddenly realises he's speaking to him, so he points to his ear and says, I'm deaf. So the hearing guy comes to the other side of him and speaks in his other ear. I think when you talk about Hal's humour, I mean, humour has a wide range, but Hal's, in the deaf comedians, his specific sense of humour always related to our experiences of being deaf. After many years of performing stand-up comedy, Hal diversified into acting in 2001 when he was cast as the character Michael in the BBC drama Switch. He showed us that he had an ability to produce a great mixture of both seriousness and humour. Through his eyes, you could see this mixture and that he had everything needed for the character and that's why we cast him in the drama. No, no, we have a TV license. My husband, Michael, he shoots it. Ow! 
I was protesting. So I I'm like the fee service now the notch. All the program I've shoot us now the haven't Radio Death can hear now we can't A program of one signing now the haven't is that right? People often remark on how much they loved Howe's portrayal of his character in Switch. It made them laugh, cry, and the audience always looked forward to his next appearance. He was so comfortable to watch. Working with him was just wonderful. He was amazing to work with. One thing that really stood out when working with him was his preparation. He'd arrive on set with a notebook and would have already taken detailed notes from the script. When you get the script for Switch, it's this thick. I read through to understand the whole story first. Then, I transfer all my scenes into my own Bible. That's what I call it. It's a book with all my lines and direction in there. I read that through again and again. Maybe at home, in the mirror, or in my hotel. I sign it through and think about how I'll stand or move or walk. It helps me feel comfortable the next day on set so that as we rehearse and then film, I'm confident. He knew what he was doing. Once they told him, then he did it. He was easy to work with. When I was on set with him, he made me feel like his equal. And that helped me a lot and made me confident in what I was doing. In All Hal's many films, his charisma, humour and his skills with remembering his script was something I'm sure that much younger actors would have admired and wanted to emulate. They would have all liked to be like Hal Draper. At the end of my film Departure Lounge, the character is very ill and is nearing death. He's on his own. He has a wife but no children and needs someone, someone to express his innermost feelings to, and so chooses Mark, who works as a cleaner in the hospital. The character is very complex, with a lot of emotions, and Hal played the part superbly. It really moved me. As it wasn't a comedic role, it was a serious performance throughout, and he was wonderful. He could take on any character, from humorous to serious. He could play them all. Aside from comedy and acting, Hal's life was rich. His passion for all sports and his love of Manchester United was well known. Hal also worked in the challenging role of student counsellor. Hal was a counsellor at Bristol University working with deaf students who had just arrived and were adjusting to a new environment. As Hal had many brothers and sisters, he was able to use his experience of coming from a large hearing family to increase their confidence and help them achieve their degree. I am sure there are many people who owe him a debt of gratitude. Hal felt the world was a stressful place and there was a need for a more light-hearted side of life to balance things out, he thought that was important. You have to wonder how many students he's helped over the years through his counselling. He was here for 22 years. 
Hal also worked tirelessly in the deaf community, trying to improve life for deaf people. He was always organising things in the deaf community. Shows, children's Christmas parties, mother's groups, days out. He planned everything and was keen to get people together and go out and about. Hull's passing, I think, is a great loss to the Bristol deaf community. He was there, fighting for the deaf centre. His acting skills and talents will be sorely missed by the deaf directors and writers. It's a great shame. One regret that I have is that everyone knows what a fantastic performer and actor he was. We all know that. But the thing that surprises me is that he never won an award when he was alive. And I think he should have. He deserved it. Hal Draper was the king of comedy. The best we've ever had. And I don't think anyone will ever replace him. What was Hal like as a father? Wonderful. The best. Hal was... unique. Hal was a truly wonderful character. He brought so much warmth and humour into deaf people's lives. He will be greatly missed by everyone in the deaf community. <laughs>